Now we're talking about the second window of Smart Trade, and this is the most exciting and appealing part of it. This is the take profit part. This is the part that everybody wants to think about, and this is what we're planning on is taking profit every single trade. So I wanna talk about everything that's available in the take profit window. First off, when you enable take profit to be on, you get a couple of options. Again, you get to choose between limit and market orders, but now you have a slider. The slider is there so that you can choose a percentage or you can just type in a number and that way it will automatically tell you the percentage. But then below that you have a percentage. So what you can do is instead of just selling 100% right here at 10%, you could hit the button down below to use something called split targets of which you could have up to eight of these. So by clicking this, now I can choose to sell 20% more at 20% and I can hit it again and choose whatever percentage at whatever price level, so that way I'm distributing my sell order. This has some huge benefits, especially if you're trading on low volume charts. You don't wanna become a wall in the order book, meaning that your order is gonna be sticking out like this. You wanna make sure that your orders are being distributed equally, so that way it's not a wall anymore, it's not sticking out. Now it's just kind of there, and you just kind of pop, 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 pop. Use this all the time. Note that there are three different options here for the type of price. There is the last, there's the bid, and the ask. Now you can choose to go off the order book. So when the price on the order book's bid side equals what you have entered it here, then it will process the order, then it will sell. But for the most part, I just use last, and most people I know that use the platform also stick to last, but you have the ability to enter in the bid or the ask price. So we talked about trailing buy in the last step. And in this step, trailing take profit is a little bit different. We're using the same concept of this negative value. So that negative value is a deviation percentage. So setting it to like 2% means that every 2% that the price continues to move up, it's going to trail below. It's gonna trail, 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 trail until the price comes back down. Actually, there's a fantastic GIF that's showing right now. So when the trailing take profit is enabled, you can see that as soon as the price starts to move up, trailing take profit, essentially every increment, every percentage it moves up higher, it just keeps moving up and up and up until the price comes down and hits it. So instead of stopping at 10%, maybe you might close with 15, 20, 25%. I've had some amazing trailing take profit opportunities before, but note that trailing take profit is using a conditional market order. So as soon as the price comes down and hits whatever your trailing target is, it's going to, in, in the case of smart trade, it's going to sell to the highest bidder. And depending on the liquidity, there might not be enough orders. So you might have slippage, just keep it in mind. So a little tip, when I use uh, split targets, I usually use about three to four and I'll save trailing for the very last one. And I'll only use trailing for about anywhere between 20 to 30% of my total size for that trade. I want to make sure that I'm securing profit for about well, 70% to 80% of it. So I'm only taking this risk of trailing with only a little bit of my, um, my volume for that total trade. So I want to make sure that I'm taking profit, that I'm securing profit, and then I'll risk some extra profit or maybe a little bit of not as much profit as I was hoping to with trailing take profit. And before I move on, I do want to quickly explain the other tabs that are up there. So there is smart cover, smart buy, and smart sell, and it's probably a different order. But essentially what you need to know is that smart buy is reserved for leveraged traders that are shorting on a market and they want to rebuy or they want to settle those positions. Smart cover is essentially hedging, like I talked about before. So you can use smart cover to sell Bitcoin at whatever price you want, and then you will see your take profit is now at a negative value because you're selling Bitcoin at, let's say, $25,000, and you're hoping to rebuy it all back at $20,000. So that's going to be a price increase of whatever this percentage says. So that means you can have this percent more USDT because you're selling your Bitcoin for USDT and buying it at a lower price. So you're visualizing the profit potential of hedging using smart cover. And lastly, smart sell. Smart sell is the easiest one to understand. Smart sell essentially is what a lot of people that are new to three commas will be using predominantly. You probably have tokens that you've bought on the exchange. You don't even know where these came from. You don't remember buying these. You have to look on your exchange to figure out when you actually purchase these tokens but you can use smart sell to identify 
what price you purchase these tokens, and then you can create and set up a smart sell order using all of the smart trade logic using trailing take profit, split targets, and using the stop loss. So that way you're using, you're leveraging the tools of 3 Commas Smart Trade with the tokens that already exist on your exchange. Well, that's it for this step. And in the next one, I'm gonna be sharing tips about the stop loss settings that you do not wanna miss.